We're back now with developing news out of Washington as we're learning that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is hospitalized due to complications from a procedure to treat and cure prostate cancer. Secretary Austin was diagnosed in December. The complications from the minimally invasive procedure are what led him to be admitted to Walter Reed on January 1st and eventually to the intensive care unit. He remains hospitalized today. Prostate cancer affects one in every eight men and one in every six black men. That's according to Walter Reed. And here now to talk more about the most common cancer among American men is Dr. Peter Albertson with the Division of Urology at UConn Health. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. To Thank start, you for having me. To start out, can you give us your reaction to what Secretary Austin is experiencing? Just how common is this situation among men diagnosed with prostate cancer? Well, a robotic prostatectomy, what frequently referred to as minimally invasive, is the most, most common way prostates are removed in, 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 in 2024. Occasionally, men will have a problem afterwards. I suspect uh, something possibly a urine leak or a lymphocele. Um, these are very common complications that are usually can be managed very easily. And uh, Secretary Austin should recover fully if that's what's exactly going on. Are there any signs or symptoms of prostate cancer that Secretary Austin experienced that other men should really be on the lookout for? No, uh, what he had was a PSA, a blood test that was being monitored, and that apparently went up. And that is uh, unfortunately the, the only way we can monitor for early prostate cancer. There are no symptoms of the disease. And of course, this is the most common cancer among men. Who exactly is most at risk? Men as they age, unfortunately, or fortunately, prostate cancer is relatively rare at age 50. But as men age through 70, where uh, Secretary Austin is now, that's a much more common age, and it can continue up into men into their 80s. Fortunately for most men, prostate cancer is a very slow-growing disease, and for most men, uh, they do not eventually die of their disease. Uh, it is either cured or progresses so slowly that it never becomes a problem in old age. Hmm, that's good news to hear. And what steps exactly should people take to protect themselves from this disease? Well, probably the best way to do is to continue to check a blood test up until about age 70. Um, um, beyond that, just live a healthy life and what's good for your heart is good for your prostate. And if someone is diagnosed with prostate cancer, we know that Secretary Austin is, what is the prognosis? What does treatment in the future look like for them? The two common treatments for prostate cancer are either surgery, which is what Secretary Austin had, or radiation. And from what we can tell, both are basically equivalent over a 10 to 15 year uh, period. Many men, however, have very low-grade low prostate cancer, and for many of these men, just watching something called active surveillance is becoming more common in this country. Higher-grade disease requires an intervention. Low-grade disease often does not, uh, and the long-term prognosis depends on how aggressive the cancer is at discovery. All right, and it's good to hear that you think the outlook is looking good for Secretary Austin. I think it looks excellent. I think you should live a long life and uh, will recover from this uh, uneventfully in the next few weeks. Wonderful. Dr. Peter Albertson with UConn Health, thank you very much for your insight tonight. Thank you. And another expert we spoke with is also optimistic about the prognosis for Defense Secretary Austin. Dr. Joseph Wagner, Chief of Urology at Hartford Hospital, shares his experiences with other patients. I want to stress, obviously, I, I have no idea of the specifics, you know, for his case. But I can say that most men that are in the hospital having complications from a radical prostatectomy, the vast majority of them recover from their um, complications with no sequela. I would expect him to go back to his regular duties, you know, in the very near future. Again, he says nowadays most treatment procedures are done robotically with minimal incisions that usually mean less blood loss and fewer complications. We actually recently wrote up our series of over 20 years of doing robotic radical prostatectomies, over 3,000 cases. And in the modern age, complications like this occur in about 3% of patients. Men at high risk can start screening as early as age 40.